guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all keeping well today I have a slightly different video for you it's my autumn wreath I actually filmed it a few weeks ago when I was making it for my front door and it's been up for a while now so um, yeah I just thought I would share uh, how I made it if you're new to my channel welcome and please hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this and some hauls and things like that um, as you can see from what I have there I had um, bought some flowers in the range which I showed in a previous haul and um, the leaves the pumpkins and the acorns the little bag of acorns I bought all of, of those on Amazon just because I couldn't really find them in shops anywhere and um, the little wreath uh, itself was bought in Hobbycraft and um, it does shed a little bit that's the only problem but um, it is a lovely wreath you don't end up seeing a whole lot of it as I cover most of it anyway so yeah I hope you enjoy it let's just jump right in so as you can see I'm going to be using my cordless glue gun I'm loving using this glue gun because it's great not having to plug it in and you know you're not tied down with uh, wires or you don't have to be near a plug and all you do is just charge it up so I'm just going through cutting all the leaves off just to prep everything I like to do that so that I'm not cutting one at a time each time I want to put one in so I prep everything first sort it into larger leaves and smaller leaves and then I go through and cut the flowers um, I wish I had bought some more flowers but it actually works out not too bad um, and as you can see I'm just pushing these in I'm not gluing them in yet I just want to make sure I have enough to even out around the wreath and then I go in and I finish off by gluing in um, another leaf just right beside it just to help press them down a little bit because they seem to stand out a little bit high so I'm just pressing that down I tend to use a lot of glue just to make sure that um, they stick really well and I hold them until the glue starts to harden but glue guns are really great for anything you want to do around the house whether it's DIY whether it's making little craft things So as you can see I finished with all the green leaves and now I'm going to add the little orange poppies that I got and I think they look really well. You don't want to have anything that stands out too much. I mean obviously you wouldn't put a completely different colour into this. Um, you want it to look like an autumn wreath and so all the same sorts of colours are probably best. You could have put probably a little bit of white in but I stuck with the one colour tone. The little buds that you see here are great for just filling in in between the larger flowers so that um, you get a little bit of symmetry going on. And I'm putting plenty of hot glue down so that um, the pumpkins will stick well. And after a few weeks they haven't come off yet. I'm just filling in with all the little acorns it just gives a bit of a different texture and color into the wreath and I'll just work my way around just filling in bits and pieces that I think would uh, need those wee acorns in I decided to put the glue actually onto the acorns and then slip it in rather than trying to find a spot on the wreath to put them in. This means that they'll not only just cling on to the wreath but they'll also cling on to the things like the leaves and the flowers all around them. I 
and just keep checking that um, it looks all full all the way around. I was checking to see if I could add something else to that one area there um, just to finish it off but I decided to put uh, a little bow. I wish I had had more ribbon and it would have been a bigger bow but I think it looks okay. I'm just tying the bow off by my hand but because the ribbon's so short it gave me a little bit of trouble but um, finally finished it and now I'm just going to glue it in as well. And that's the finished wreath. So I'll show you what it looks like on my door. Um, I have hung it just by two little suction cups um, that I got on eBay and they are by far the best little suction hooks. The only problem is they're quite big so you can see them so um, luckily they are hidden by this wreath but um, I link them down below if you want to go and check them out. So thanks very much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed that and um, I'll see you next time. Bye!